Let's review the concepts we learnt in previous classes. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. A triangle has three sides which are line segments of fixed lengths. Three vertices where the sides meet to form angles of fixed measures. Triangles are classified by their sides and angles as scalene, isosceles and equilateral. In a scalene triangle, all the sides and angles are unequal. In an isosceles triangle, a pair of its sides and a pair of angles are equal. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides and all three angles are equal. Triangles are classified only by their angles as acute-angled, obtuse-angled and right-angled. In an acute-angled triangle, all the angles are less than 90 degrees. In an obtuse-angled triangle, one angle is greater than 90 degrees. In a right-angled triangle, one angle is 90 degrees. In geometry, two figures are congruent if they have the same shape and the same size. If these two triangles are congruent, it means their corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal. If triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR, then the corresponding sides are AB and PQ, AC and PR, BC and QR. The corresponding angles are angle A and angle P, angle B and angle Q, angle C and angle R. This is the symbol for congruence. We see that all circles of the same radii, all squares of equal sides, and all equilateral triangles of equal sides are always congruent. If you observe these shapes, you will find that they have the same shape but different sizes. So, these figures are not congruent. Such figures which have the same shape but not necessarily same size are called similar figures. Note that congruency can be understood as a special case of similarity, where the size of the shapes is also equal. Thus, all congruent figures are similar, but all similar figures need not be congruent. Tap the button to understand this better with an example. Match the figures with their similar and congruent figures. Drag the figures at the bottom of the screen and drop them in the appropriate boxes.
Let's further observe the relationship between similarity and congruency in these shapes by changing their sizes and comparing them. Two polygons are similar if 1. Their corresponding angles are equal and 2. Their corresponding sides are proportional. It means two triangles ABC and DEF are similar if angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to angle F. And AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to CA by FD. Tap the buttons to understand this better with more examples. Let's do an activity to verify the properties of similar triangles. Place a torch and allow the light rays coming from the torch to reach the white table. Now place a transparent glass plane between the table and the torch such that the planes of the glass and the tabletop are parallel. Cut a triangle ABC from a cardboard plane and place the triangle on the transparent glass. Now, we will be able to see the shadow of the triangle ABC as triangle A-B-C- on the table. Notice that the triangle A-B-C- is a larger image of the triangle ABC. So, Triangle ABC is similar to triangle A-B-C- Here, the vertex A- corresponds to vertex A, vertex B- corresponds to vertex B, and vertex C- corresponds to vertex C. We can observe that 1. All the corresponding angles in both the figures are equal. 2. All the corresponding sides have the same proportion or ratio. These are the two properties of similar triangles. Note that the order of vertices in naming the two shapes is important. The order lets us know which vertex in the first shape corresponds to which vertex in the similar shape. So if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then A corresponds to D, B corresponds to E, and C corresponds to F. Thus we have angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. Also, we have AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to CA by FD. 
Note that we cannot draw any conclusions about ratios using non-corresponding sides as shown. Suppose we have to divide a line segment MN in the ratio 3 is to 2 at point P. Draw an angle XMY and mark 5 points on its arm MX at equal distances. Label the third point P and the fifth point N. Now draw a line segment NO as shown. And from point P, draw a line segment PQ parallel to NO. We see that the ratio of MP and PN equals 3 by 2. Now, whatever be the lengths of MQ and QO, you will find that the ratio of MQ and QO equals 3 by 2. Thus, in triangle MNO, if PQ is parallel to NO, then MP by PN is equal to MQ by QO. This result obtained is known as the Basic Proportionality Theorem or Thales Theorem. Let's understand the effect of angles and side ratios on similarity with some common geometric shapes by varying the values separately and comparing. The Basic Proportionality Theorem, or Thales Theorem, states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, intersecting the other two sides, then it divides the two sides in the same ratio. In triangle PQR, if DE is parallel to QR, then PD by DQ is equal to PE by ER. Tap the button to understand this better with an example. Fill in the blanks with the correct values.
Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. 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 Fill in the blanks with the correct values.
Let's work with a triangle to observe how the basic proportionality theorem, also called Thales theorem, applies in different configurations. The converse of the basic proportionality theorem, or Thales theorem, states that if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line must be parallel to the third side. In triangle ABC, if AP by PB is equal to AQ by QC, then PQ is parallel to BC. Tap the button to understand this better with an example. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values.
Let's work with a triangle to observe how the converse of the basic proportionality theorem, also called Thales theorem, applies in different configurations. Let's summarize what we have learned in this topic.